you guys? Um, it's super encouraging, you know, um, especially us knowing each other so well. We're playing with each other for three years, so uh, it's definitely going to help a lot. And uh, it's definitely big going in it. And having already been in situations together um, last year, you know, been in those kind of games. So, I mean, it helps a lot. What have you seen from Jeremy, just being a freshman, but seems like he's a vet with the way he plays already? Uh, yeah, he's definitely he's physical, um, and he leads with his voice as well. Um, he does a good job of coming in and, and not shying away because he's a freshman. Um, he came in and been himself, um, played hard, brought energy every day, and he's been a vocal leader for, the, for those guys and helping the general group for his class as well. You and Tyson's relationship, obviously you guys have been playing together for a couple of years, but the way you guys can kind of feed off each other, how has that, I guess, taken another step? Uh, I think it's got to be a lot easier. Um, just knowing where he wants the ball, knowing where he's going to be. He knows where I'm going to be. So I think it uh, definitely stems from our, our court relationship as well as just having time together on a court. And, and just me being a punker, I have to understand my guys and know where they want to be and where they want to be to succeed in positions to put them in so they can succeed. So uh, it definitely goes hand in hand. AJ, the, that process of – good to see you, first of all. Um, good to see you, too. How's, how's that process been of – you got a highly ranked freshman, or, you know, freshman class with a lot of hype and reputation. Then you got you guys who've been through a lot and have high expectations yourself. How's that process been of molding them into what you guys want to be as, as a whole? You know, it's, kind of uh, it's been good. You know, because they they're willing to learn. You know, um, they're willing to accept coaching from the coaching staff and, and, and us vets. So you know, they've been doing a lot of learning and, and they compete at a high level. Um, they're not too caught up into their class ranking. Uh, they just want to come here and help us win at all costs. And, um, you can tell that from how they play and how they bring energy every day. So it's definitely good. You guys that have been around have done a lot in the NCAA tournament, good and bad. How much do you guys sort of lean on that experience? What are some of the lessons, I guess, from that? I know we're a long way away from that, but when you guys have the goals you guys have, do those come into play in terms of we've been here, we could have been there, here's what we did, here's what didn't happen, those types yeah, of things? Yeah, definitely, definitely the learning curve. Um, we took last year's learning curve, um, even though the Sweet 16 was somewhat of an accomplishment for some of us, but that's not what we hang our hat on here. So, you know, we just got to learn from what didn't get us over the hump um, and bring that to everyday practice and instill it in the young guys earlier because they got a chance to be here longer than us. So just so we can continue the tradition and um, just have them groomed and ready to go for the season. Two guys I wanted to ask you about specifically. Malik Beck is a fifth-year guy. Is just you see something in him in terms of the hunger uh, last year, yes. clock going off type of thing? Uh, I say I see hunger in everybody. We all want to win. Um, it's not no secret. Um, that's what we're here for. So winning is the ultimate goal. So uh, you can tell by how everybody's moving, and how their, their approach is. That that's that's the same common goal. How about Carson Cooper? One year later, you guys had some nice moments together. I'd, to me, it seemed like night and day, confidence-wise, when I saw him at Moneyball. I'm just wondering if you're around him a lot more. How different is he uh, in year two, and what's different? Uh, he's just been trusting his work, you know. Carson's put a lot of work in since he stepped on campus, and he's just more confident in himself. And when you trust your work and then, and then putting the work in at the same time, it goes hand-to-hand. -hand. So he's just having fun right now. We're all having fun competing and enjoying it. Uh, just been putting the work in and getting ready for it to tip off. AJ, the only other person I pose this question to is your fellow senior uh, and leader, uh, Malik. Uh, what excites you right now and what keeps you up at night? What excites me right now is season about to start, but what keeps me up last night, this could be the last one. This could be the last one. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to start too early. You don't want to start too early? No, not at all. I get that. I put a big smile on your face yeah, right there. Um, you know, up in the um, press conference, uh, Coach almost talked about that. You may just be the one he wants to pick on a little bit more. I mean, does that talk about the relationship you have with him, the expectations? How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel good. You know, I, I always accept challenges. Um, that's what I've been through my whole life, challenges. And this is just a fun one. Um, this is what you play basketball for, you know, the excitement around it, uh, the excitement coming to the season and having somewhat pressure. Um, I look at pressure as a privilege. And me and Coach being on the same page is going to make things a lot easier, and it's been fun so far. That's great, man. I appreciate it. And good luck, okay? Thank you. As a guy who's been around AJ, I'm wondering our practices with when you have so much depth and that, that young talent we talked about our practices uh, maybe a notch or two higher in terms yeah, of intensity yeah. right now I know we're early but are you noticing anything anything different in that regard uh, this probably has been I've been through a lot of competitive practices since I've been here but this has probably been the most competitive practices I've, I've been through so far especially the first week um, starting practice it, it was phenomenal just to see how they competed and and went at us and took on a challenge you know they didn't back down um, so it's just good, and it shows you what type of team we have, what type of young guys we have, so it's going to be fun. When you've been here, where times, especially like late in the season, maybe you guys can't go as hard, whether it's injuries or just numbers, are you excited to see what that could bear out later on in the year? Yeah, definitely. We got a lot of depth, so we got a lot of guys that's ready to go, that's been working, and um, that I have faith in myself, so, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. When you have so much on this 
team as the point guard, how do you balance getting yourself opportunities and spreading the wealth to everybody? Uh, I mean, I think I've been doing a good job of doing that and uh, picking my spot. So I got a chance to do a set, set uh, record-breaking assist numbers this year probably, uh, average-wise for me personally. That's good. Uh, I got a lot more guys to pass the ball to. But, you know, kind of just picking my spots, figuring out, getting my guys involved first, and then just going from there. When you talked earlier about the last time, it sounds like you're savoring it, right? A lot of players go to college, we hear, and they just want to get out as soon as they can to move on to whatever, but you're not like that. So why not? Uh, I mean, do, do you sense that you're different that way? Uh, I mean, I think a lot of guys probably don't show it. Um, I'm just going to be real and upfront about it. But, I mean, I had a fun time here, you know, like everything. Uh, just uh, sitting right here with you guys is fun, you know. So this may be my last time talking to y'all. Uh, so, you know. Just enjoying it, taking every step of the way, and just letting it happen when it happens. Well, you have one time for one or two more with AJ. Uh, Physicality has always been a big part of your game and everything. But you, 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 where do you think that is for this year? I think you tightened up your body even a little bit more. I, 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 ain't lo I ain't lose no strength. Uh, that's the one thing we focused on not losing. I didn't lose any strength, no physicality. I may look a little different, but it's still there. You feel quicker? Yeah, most definitely. More explosive and everything. I feel lighter on my feet. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate it.